Hello and welcome to WePC, my name is Jay and today I'm going to be reviewing the Porsche Design AOC PD27. The Porsche inspired gaming monitor from AOC is one of the most exciting monitors that we've tried for some time. And no, not because of its 911 RSR design features, but more for its 240Hz refresh rate, low 1ms response time, free sync support, and a ton more of performance tailored OSD options. So, with plenty to get through, let's waste no further time and dive straight into the review. And as always, we are going to start with the design. Now, the first and most striking component of this monitor is, without a doubt, the stand. Unlike other monitors that make use of ugly, plastic, and chunky aesthetics, the Porsche Design PD27 opts for chrome and metal. The racing car-esque stand is as striking as it is strange, offering up a styling that is inspired by the Porsche 911 RSR roll cage. A wide V-shaped stand provides superb support for this 27-inch panel, with chrome catching the eye from almost every angle. The screen itself is curved and provides a nice contrast between itself and the stand. With a thin dual-stage bezel, the Porsche Design certainly leans more towards the premium than the tacky. A brushed aluminium finish has been given to the bottom bezel housing the Porsche Design logo in a chrome finish. In terms of stand adjustments, the PD27 does provide good versatility for the average user. With decent height, tilt and swivel functionality, users will be able to find the perfect viewing position for this panel. Unlike other monitors in this spectrum, the PD27 doesn't come with pivot functionality. However, considering the curved design of the panel, it would be a pretty useless feature to equip the monitor with. At the rear of the panel, users will find an RGB zone that, when cranked up to its max settings, can be quite the spectacle. However, with no real way of seeing the back of this monitor, it does feel a little bit pointless. If that wasn't enough RGB, however, fear not, as there is a small projector that beams the Aegon logo onto your table, which to be fair, it does look pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's pointless, but I do like it. Now, the build quality of this monitor feels extremely robust with only premium materials used for the construction. The majority of the monitor's makeup is plastic and some of it does feel a little on the flimsy side. However, it does feel like more care has been taken in areas that are more vulnerable to damage, such as the panel coating and the rear of the display. Whilst it does excel in this department, light can be a little problematic. And that is mainly thanks to the curved nature of the screen. The monitor comes with a whole bunch of inputs for devices and external peripherals. And as you would expect, all of these can be found at the rear of the monitor and need to be inserted in a vertical fashion. And unfortunately, there is no HDMI 2.1, so if you are a next-gen console user, this isn't going to be the monitor for you. Now, the OSD really is quite strange on this monitor. Uh, the, the design is certainly something I've never seen before and it genuinely looks like a weird game of Tetris. However, we do push the design aside. There are plenty of graphical settings inside this OSD, allowing users to change pretty much every aspect of this monitor. Whether you're looking to change the luminance, color preset, overdrive, VRR, or the HDR settings, you'll be able to do so via the interestingly designed OSD. Now, before we get into what it's like to game on this thing, please note that Charlie, our monitor specialist, and possibly the worst CSGO player I've ever seen, has done a whole bunch of color accuracy, picture quality, and color gamut testing. And the results of those can be found on our full review article that is on our website. And we will link that in the description down below. So for all your test results, go click the article. Now, seeing as though the Porsche Design PD27 is custom designed for serious gamers, it should really excel in this particular department. In FPS games such as CSGO, Battlefield 5, and Call of Duty, this monitor really did provide a superb gaming experience. The fast refresh rate of 240Hz offered a particularly fluid experience, certainly noticeable when comparing it against 60 to 120Hz alternatives. I did play CSGO for some time, and the response of the monitor felt absolutely flawless, and it gave me the highest levels of precision and fluidity. Of course, users can tamper with various performance affecting settings within the OSD. We turned off adaptive sync and enabled both MBR and overdrive settings and we found that the best results came when using MBR set to 14, which still gave a good clarity without losing too much in the ways of brightness. We played around with the different overdrive settings that range from medium to strong, with weak not really offering a great experience. Now unfortunately in terms of newer titles and reaching 240 frames per second, it did require a pretty powerful build to do so, and that is mainly because of the 1440p resolution. However, enabling FreeSync did showcase clear improvements, even when FPS dropped to below 60 frames. Moving away from response time now and looking at general immersion, as always, we loaded up Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is a really good game for getting the benefits from a strong HDR signal. We enabled the HDR game mode, and the experience was noticeable, 
but not overwhelming. The AOC PD27 is only HDR400 certified, which is the lowest level that VESA certifies for. Whilst this is a boost over SDR, it is certainly a step back from more competent HDR standards. As well as this, with no dynamic contrast under HDR, seeing significant depth of detail in both light and dark spaces simultaneously wasn't really possible. That being said, the PD27 does come with an immersive 1000R curved panel, which does give you the feeling of immersion when playing various single player titles. Overall, picture quality in games was certainly a positive for this monitor, offering up that 1440p screen clarity that makes many games just pop. Whilst this is great, it does add an additional performance strain on your PC. Playing games like CSGO saw a dramatic drop in FPS output, and that's something that could steer many competitive minor gamers away from this monitor. Having said that, you would have to say that this monitor definitely steers more towards the single player gamer over the competitive user. So there you have it, our comprehensive review on the Porsche Design AOC Aegon PD27. Ultimately, if you're looking for a quirky design and a panel that offers the highest levels of response and fluidity, you can't really go wrong with this monitor. However, if you do prioritize screen size and overall picture quality, there are plenty of excellent 4K gaming monitors that you may want to take a look at. Thank you so much for watching our video. As always, links to the product and our full review article will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, I would love if you could leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you are new. And if you hit over there, that little rectangle will take you to another one of our videos that I know you will enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.